Hello guys, welcome to Leaning Ledges. This is the worst tower ever. I fell at floor 8 on the outside part from an oversight. Fell at floor 10 from a actual, and then just before this, I fell from floor 10 by an actual bug. The bounce platform that's supposed to take you to floor 10, well like take you up to all those challenges are garbage. Um, it ragdolled me. All the way to the bottom of the tower. Literally. I'm not even over-exaggerating. Ragdoll me straight to the freaking bottom. And it's not like they're gonna care, they got other things to do. The Jaco people aren't gonna care. It's just part of the tower, they say. That's not a bug, it's just part of the tower. Just don't, just now that you know, don't have it happen. Don't, don't fall there next time from, a, from our trap. They're not gonna care. So it's an easy tower. And even if they do fix it, it's not like they're gonna care that I fell there. They're just gonna fix it and be on their way. Without teleporting me back. And then floor, floor like, yeah, floor five is just absolute trash because it literally takes six minutes to beat. Getting up there takes like three, getting past floor six takes like six, honestly. Those were, a, those were like the literal statistics I found. Like, on my first run, I- or no, on my second run, I got up there in three minutes. And then, I got- I got up to floor five, started floor five, with three minutes on the clock. I finished floor three, or floor five, with nine on the clock. It is, like... It literally- fl that floor is as long as eight floors combined. Eight of them. I could beat eight floors in the time it takes me to beat that single one. So I beat four to get up there, and then it takes twice as long to beat that single floor as it does to take to beat four. And using basic maths, you can determine that yes. Also, that spinner is big suck. I almost failed that easy jump. I swear, now I'm gonna get hit by the spinner, and it's just gonna- I'm gonna get hit by the spinner on floor 8 outside part, and it's gonna bounce- And it's gonna hit me straight off without picking me up and taking me to the rest of the tower. I'm gonna fall because of another bug at a really far point, but this time at an outside part, just less far. And the thing is, when you get ragdolled, you're just dead. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Because you're not going to land on one of the platforms, unless there's a really big catch zone. Like, in this tower, I might have been able to get caught. I probably would have been able to get... Yeah, I definitely could have been able to get caught on the catch zone. But, like, you just... The thing is, you bounce all around. <laughs> bro, 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 are you actually serious? And all of this is technically a bug because I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. I'm doing this because of a bug. I'm 
playing this tower because of a bug. Like, you bounce all around, which is stupid. Like, you just... When you ragdoll, you bounce, and then when you land on a platform, it's like trying to flip a coin on its side. It can happen, but it's so rare because, like, it... When you flip it, it... Now, I know, like... Landing a coin on its side is a lot rarer than landing on a platform after getting ragdolled. But yeah. It's like, it doesn't just stay where it first landed. Because if, if then, you could... It would... Like, it would be a lot, 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 lot easier to flip a coin on its side. It would still be ludicrous, but it wouldn't be as hard. But, like, even if you do land, like, even if it does land on its side immediately, it'll bounce up and then, like, 99% of the time not land on its side anymore. With, with, and with small platforms, it's kind of the same principle. You just you'll bounce all around, not just stick to one platform, which is really bad because, like, there's not any large platforms in this tower to catch you. Like, there is not that many platforms that'll catch you. Basically, the only one is, like, the catch zone down there. And, like, you don't really get ragdolled in easy towers that much. And then, in easy towers, that's the one time ragdolling is, like, pretty survivable, because there's a ton of big spaces for you to land. Okay, I'm finally done with this garbage floor. Okay, this floor is a lot less horrendous. <laughs> I just need to not fail it. Because, like, all these slanted trusses are pretty hard. And you may be thinking, looking down at floor 5, it's like, Oh, look at all that space you could get caught. There's at least a decent chance. You probably won't get caught, but there's at least a decent chance. No, like, the smaller platforms, that just makes it easier for it to bounce. The smaller the platform, the bouncier. And I know it could bounce from one platform and land on the other. But then, even if that ludicrous chance happens... Like, the only places I can think of you getting lucky and landing are those two. Those are definitely big enough to catch someone ragdolling. I almost just jumped off there. Yeah, what I'm saying is I'm just really mad that I fell on the final floor because of a bug, and not that I- Not- not my own mistake. I mean, it was my own mistake, but it was something like, How am I supposed to know that that would ragdoll me? For all I know, I would get teleported into oblivion and just get teleported straight into the void for touching that. So it's like, how the heck was I supposed to know that doing what I did would ragdoll me? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay, now we're on to the poopy. Poopy, poopy, stinky, poopy, stinky floor. Because it has insanely scary outside part. It's not actually that hard, but it has Spinner of Epic Jank. I swear, I'm gonna get. Like, the Spinner of Epic Jank is gonna bug. I'm gonna get flopped. Now that I finally make it back here after getting ragdolled on the final floor, I'm just gonna get bugged by the. Epic jank spinner. Uh, 
That's a rip. Ripperoni. One time I found a pair of hackers who, like, they had alts that were friended. One would, like, complete a tower illegitimately, get kicked for cheating, and then the other one would join that game before he actually got kicked. And then they would take turns doing it, and it was pretty funny. And they, they were like, ah, ha, 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 you cannot defeat us. I think it was the same person on two different alts. Now I'm pretty sure it was different people working together. Okay, basically just made it to the second to last floor. And as long as I don't get bugged there, I'll be at the final one. Well, you don't really get bugged on this floor. <gasps> e. Yeah, you don't really get bugged on this floor. It's really all because uh, you're bad. And now that I say that, it, I'm gonna figure out some random bug that I had no idea about, and I'm just gonna have to sit there and be like, oh yeah, eh, I guess I just fell because I wasn't skilled enough to game. Oh gosh, this jump is poopy. Wow, I did it. I was not expecting that. Jeez. E. Okay, let's not get janked. Okay, no jank. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That bounce platform, I walked under it, and that's when I got ragdolled, so I'm happy. These got 10 challenges, all of which are stupidly short. But the 10 challenges add up, and like, failing one makes you go down a long ways. Because either you fall down here and you get really lucky and get caught. Well, actually, if you fall down there, you'll get. You might get lucky and get caught here. But on the. Oh, I. For a second, like, I thought there was a platform there, and then last second I realized, oh heck, there isn't. And I moved myself just in time. Oh, I did not see that there. Okay, after this fourth challenge, which is like nothing, um, or no, this isn't the fourth challenge. This is just getting to the fourth challenge. Yeah, this is where it gets mean because you may be thinking, oh, nice, a platform to catch me. Why, thank you. Uh. It's a conveyor that yeets you off the face of the earth. <laughs> After messing up just one single time, you're just gone. <gasps> oh no. That ain't good, chief. That is not ain't good. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, let's go! <gasps> let's go. Yeah, if you fail that conveyor... Actually, I'd say failing the conveyor is nicer because you can do what I did. And, like, figure out where is your best option to not fall that much. But yeah, those ten challenges are gonna take forever, dude. was really good. Thank goodness. Okay, no ragdoll, no, no bugging. Okay, let's go. But yeah, now that, now that that just happened to me, the first three challenges are poopy, and the other ones are nice. Because the other ones at least give you some sort of chance to figure out where is a good spot that you could realistically land. 
Okay, so I thought I could do the easy towers here. Turns out I suck, so no. Okay. Also, if you're wondering, I'm not talking about myself. Someone said that in chat. Dude, like, it's- my character stumbled. That's a L, if I've ever seen one. Okay, let's not have to go through that traumatic experience again. Heck this, I'm getting fake banned by Sans. Okay, boomer. Bruh. Okay. I just fell into the void. Oh, someone's on nine, Linphobia. Okay, challenge seven. This is the one I fell on. Fell on this one last time I was here. Let's go, new record, new record. Oh, I can see the sparkles up there, please. Uh, outside part. Please. Why is that? That looked semi-transparent to me. Oh gosh, you're giving me nightmares of... Okay, so I gotta fit through there. Okay. <gasps> I did it. I'm just gonna be really, really silent because I gotta concentrate. I do not wanna fall now. <gasps> okay. Let's go, let's go. Final challenge, final challenge. That's like definitely instant kill. Nah, no, that's just anti speed. Good. No. Oh, okay, good. I beat it, I beat it, I think I beat it. I think I just beat it. Okay, no, no, not done yet. Yes, I did it, I did it! <gasps> Let's go! Nice.
Nice. And potion is happy. Oh no. Thanks. Well, I'm gonna survive the slash me apocalypse in the meantime.